Hello everyone, it's me Jebby from Unique Tutorials. Today, in this video, I'll show you how to use RAM as hard disk in any Windows computer. So, without any further more delay, let's begin. So, firstly, just open any web browser and in the Google search, just search for one application name as Data RAM, RAM Disk. And on the first list, you will see its official website. Just click on it. Now you can see its official website, just scroll down below. Now you can see here Ramdex software. So you can see it's a freeware software. So you can just click on download. So I'll start downloading, wait for a few seconds until the complete downloading is done. Now you can close the web browser. Now let me go to the folder where it is being downloaded. Now you can see here the installer, just double left click it to run the installer. Now click on I accept the terms, click on install, wait for a few more seconds. So finally our application Ramdes has been successfully installed so you can click on finish. Wait for a few more seconds, it's launching now. So finally you can see it's user interference right so now you can see your view right just click on this view and now you can get an option advance just click on advance now here by default it will allow you maximum of 1023 that is 1 GB of RAM to use as your hard disk so you can just increase the value in your case it might be different since I'm using a free version, so it allows only up to 1 GB of RAM to use as a hard disk. So if you're using a pro version, then you can use up to 4 GB also. So just increase to the maximum. So let me type the value. So it's almost a 1 GB. So after that, you can see your options, unformatted partitions, right? Just select this and you can see your above one tab name as load and save just click on it now if this option is not enabled or tick mark then just select this load disk image at startup and after that there is one more option as you can see save disk ms as shutdown so this option is useful whenever you load or any file on the respective folder which you created using a RAM as a hard disk then it will save that file automatically once you shut down your computer so once your all selection is done you can see here below start ram disk just click on it but for a few seconds you can enable this all this trust or you can just disable it also i'll just keep it as it is and click on install but for a few more seconds click on ok so Finally, we have created a unallocated RAM as a hard disk. So here you need to select MBO or GPT. So I will just select as MBO. You can select as GPT also. And after that, click on OK. So you can see here unallocated. So when it is unallocated, it will not display you any drives right now. So right now you can see my original hard disk drives only, right? So what you need to do, just right click on it and click on simple volume, click on next, click on next, select your drive letter, I'll just keep it as E, click on next, now just click on next, click on finish, wait for a few more seconds, now finally we have created a new hard disk which we have used from the our RAM, so let us go back to this PC and check where it now you can see here 1 GB of new hard disk has been created using our RAM. So now you can open it and use it as your normal hard disk drives. You can just create a folder. You can just drag a file inside it and you can save anything inside this newly created hard disk from your RAM. So to stop it you can just open or run this software by clicking on the ram disk configurations and you can just click on this stop ram disk to disable this 
drive so you can see here the drive is gone so if you want to use it again just click on start ram disk but here one precautions for you all if you want to use it as a normal hard disk drive then if you ever delete this software then the whole file will be get deleted so if you have some important files saved on this hard disk drive that you created from your ram then i will highly recommend to back up to your original hard disk drives before deleting this respective software so this is how you can use ram as a hard disk in any windows computer so if you never known about the school tricks then definitely you should try it out and if you find this video information useful please click on the thumbs like button and if you're new to your channel click on the subscribe button and lastly thanks for watching